In this week's video, I want to show you how you can work with this form, which I showed you in last week's video, how to create through a transformative process, how you can use this form to either move your horizontal lemnus gate down into your form and reducing it in the process. You can see this form and this form is smaller than uh, this form here, or you can move your lemnus gate form up into your form so you can move it up or down um, but when you do so you're always going to be reducing it uh, in that process. I'll show you two different ways in which you can do this. You can reduce your lemniscate form or you can build up your lemniscate form in order to change the um, basic form but to start with you want to just draw up your form and you do that by creating the big round curve. Then you come into like a valley, up into a hill, curving round, coming back down round, and up into your form, into your, just to finish off your lemniscate. So here, this is how you draw it. So, and I would suggest you start at this side and create a curve over rounding so that you know roughly how big your lemniscate is going to be inside your form. What we want to do now, I want to show you, is how you can use the method of reduction in order to create the form that I showed you just a moment ago. So we want to make this lemniscate which is here horizontally smaller and we want to move it down into the form. We're going to do that by maintaining, as we're going around the form, we're maintaining this top part of the form here. And then what we do is we start reducing the, the form by moving the lines here inside down the way. But we're, when we're coming out again, we want to maintain the top part of the curve all the time as we're coming round, we're reducing down here at the bottom. So we're maintaining the top part, but then we're reducing down here. And maintaining the top part and then we're reducing down here. And the lines might look quite neat just now, but it's really, I'm trying to do that in order to kind of show you um, what's going on. They don't, by no means do they have to be as neat as this. It's just really to kind of give you an idea so you can see clearly what's happening. I hope you can see already that the lemniscate shape is getting smaller. I'm also moving the bottom part here of the form out a little bit um, and that is on purpose. So you know, you can see here that the lemniscate shape is now down here, where it was up here previously. It's now, and here, up here, it was almost two lengths of my graphite. It's now just over the length of, of my graphite here. So we can continue or we can stop here. So basically, you, you know, you can make it um, as, as small as you want to really. What you want to do though, oh, coming undone down here with my tick. So what you want to do though, is you want to um, maintain the, this big curve here. You don't want this to start growing because it's, it's, there's too much kind of going on then um, to kind of keep a hold of. So I would suggest, I would strongly suggest that you just keep that as a, as a permanent 
line to hold on to with the transformation of everything else that's going on. And that then, I think we'll just stop it here. So this then gives you, you can then see now I'm running in the same line just to show you where the lemnus gate ended up and it ended up down here. And the, it's also made this, this curve bigger. Well, seeming bigger because it's not really bigger. It's just seems bigger because this small part, um, the, the lemnus gate has gotten smaller and we've moved this line down a bit. And we, what we came from, I can maybe just draw that up as well. If we can see where I'm going here that where we came from was this lemnus gate here. So we came from the big lemnus gate, coming all the way around like this, and we've moved everything down the way. What you can also do is you can work with a method where you're building up your form instead of reducing it. So again, you draw your form. Start off by drawing your form so that you have your form to work with. And then what you want to do is now, instead before we worked in the bottom part and we reduced now what we want to do is we want to maintain these lines here. So the bottom part of the form we want to maintain and only work with the top line, well, transform the top line. So here we build onto this top part. Then we come into the lemniscate part and then we maintain the bottom part here. Maintain the lemniscate part and build up here. Maintain and extend, build on to. Maintain and maintain and build on to. We maintain and maintain and then we build on. And you just keep going like this, of course, until you get to, so I'm now just going to show you without doing it in a process. So here you can kind of see, okay, so this is how I get to my form by gradually building it up. I've cheated a little bit. There's not a gradual build up here. There's quite a hop, but it's just so that the video doesn't get hugely long. Um, so here we've gone from our form being like this, harmonious and rounded, to it now being much larger and then have the small part so it's large here. So now you have the understanding of how it can either be by build up or by reduction that you can arrive at the form where you're, you know, you have a a small lemnus gate with a large form. So, you know, and then you obviously you can go over that, regulate that so that it becomes exactly the way you want it to. You can obviously draw it like this as well, work with drawing your form like this, just creating it without the transformation. But at least now you have an understanding of how 
you know you can move your form and also I just want to show you here at the end um, what it was why we were working with this um, it was so that you could use your lemniscate which is in the horizontal here and move your lemniscate either down into the form making it smaller or move it up into the form and again making the lemniscate part smaller and also reducing the the carving round that's all for this week i'll be back next week with a new form drawing exercise for you